Watch you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're gonna be looking at how you can keep your motherboard drivers updated. Now, this is really important if you're having issues, compatibility issues with hardware, or maybe you've bought a brand new motherboard. It's always good to keep an eye on the update situation because obviously they release BIOS updates and also um, uh, hardware updates uh, for that uh, driver. So the chipset drivers and stuff get updated and this fixes a lot of compatibility issues uh, with gaming and also with uh, USB and all sorts of things. So it's always good to keep them updated at the beginning. So you can see here, I've got an MSI motherboard. Now, if you've got a Gigabyte or Asus motherboard or any of those types of motherboards, uh, then you can go to their manufacturer's website. Now, normally when you install the CD that comes with a motherboard, it gives you some tools that you can use to update those drivers through some software, like a live um, software updater. And I'll show you how to do that as well. So we've got this here, and this is the live update. I'll just quickly fire this up, and let me just drop that back page. So you can see this is the MSI Live Update 6, and this will let you update all your drivers. Now, if you open this up, without opening up the case, it gives you the operating system, uh, what version it is, it tells you what model of motherboard you've got, and it also tells you the BIOS version, and also the, the graphics card that's in that machine, and it also tells you the uh, graphics card BIOS version as well. Now you can do a big scan on your system and it will tell you what drivers are available for you. And I'll do that uh, in a second. Let me just quickly have a look here at manual and automatic. So you can see here we have manual and automatic uh, scan. So if you do the manual, you can do either just motherboard drivers, BIOS drivers or VGA BIOS and also MSI utility and optional uh, utilities. You have your history here and you have your settings where you can set up uh, weekly and, and uh, monthly and every three months and never. So you can set this up to how you want to do it. And you've got your system uh, information here. So let's just quickly do a quick scan of an automatic scan here. And we're just going to scan this just to show you. So I run a scan on your system. And you can see here live update and it's Getting, going to contact in their server and it's finding out what updates you have available to you. So if you look here, you can see the Intel ME drivers. We've got AS Media, USB 3.0, underscore 3.1 drivers. And you've also got Realtek HD audio drivers, uh, killer network drivers. So if you have an issue with your network drivers, because they're a bit buggy, uh, sometimes they release an update and you can update those. And you can see it's a pretty hefty update. So if you come to the pull down menu here, you will be able to see this takes all the hard work out of it. You can just use this tool and it'll allow you to update your drivers. So if you wanted to download them from here, um, you can do it from here. All you need to do is you can either do the, the tick for everything here, put in type, and this will allow you to in total install every single one of these, uh, like so. But I wouldn't advise doing that because obviously we don't want Norton security on here. This will conflict with the uh, the antivirus and stuff that we already have on the system. So I don't like to do that method. Um, so what I like to do is uh, install what I want to install. So say for instance, I'm having an issue, say with the sound blaster, we can do this. We can hit the tick inside here. You can either download it and it will download to your C root directory. It will tell you where it's downloading to. Or you can download and install here. If you look here, it gives you a download and install. Let me just show you where the location is. Where it downloads. If you look inside here, you will see in your C root directory, you will see a folder called MSI or yours will be uh, something else. And you can see live update. And these are the files and folders that it downloads. Okay, so if you go to file, you can see it's been downloading stuff here, what I've downloaded previously. And this is where they are stored. You can make a backup of these if you wish. Um, but what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly download this and install. So we're gonna hit this button here and you'll see the path is in that uh, file path here and it will make a download folder inside the DL underscore file inside your C root directory. I'm going to say yes here, let that download, 
and then once that's downloaded it's going to install now MSI servers are pretty fast for downloading uh, some of them are pretty slow but these ones are pretty quick as you can see there that come down pretty fast and they give you a last scan date here as well now a good thing about this is if you are having troubles uh, with say a camera or something like that uh, it's always good to update all your motherboard drivers and sometimes uh, BIOS updates I only like to do a BIOS update if there's a real issue with my computer or if I'm having an issue with something that's when I like to do a BIOS update so you can see here it's now downloaded this and it's automatically installing it. It takes all the hard work out for, for you guys to have to do. All you need to do here is look at the user agreement and then you say yes. And then you just go through the motions and install these into the uh, place you want to do. So you can see here, full install. Click on this. I'm going to go next. Okay, it's asked me to restart my computer now. I'm going to say no here uh, because I want to do that at a later date. And that's basically how you can install your drivers there. Now, a lot of people ask me as well about audio drivers and about uh, sound cards. Do you all need a sound card nowadays? And I can I can pretty much say that you don't need a sound card uh, today because the onboard sound. I've got a dedicated soundboard on there and they are much better than the old days so if you have got a good motherboard I'm pretty sure that it's going to come with a decent uh, sound card built into that motherboard so you don't need to go and purchase yourself uh, a, sound, a sound card. So let's take a look at their website here. Now their website if you wanted to go through their website I'm just going to show you the process here you'd go to the actual website whether it be MSI um, gigabyte or any of those types and what you're looking for is support it'll always be under support hit support and then one, once you get to this stage here you can either find your product here or you can come down to where it says download a manual now the drop down menu is where you need to look we're going to go motherboard here now we need to find out whether it's an Intel platform or an AMD platform, ours is Intel. This is where it might get tricky for you, you need to know the socket of your um, motherboard, so mine is this socket here. And again, Intel X99 Express, and it's the X99S Gaming 7. So this might be another tricky area work for you guys that's... Um, to try and download something if you're not used to doing this and you can see here now it's going to find all the information for this format and this board and you can see here all I need to do is go to downloads here I can get the specifications for it as well hit the download area and this will take us straight to the page where all the downloads are now here is all your downloads so I can see here there is a couple of biases here now it's only saying if I look here, let me just show you this. Let me just go to manual and do a BIOS scan here and do a quick scan. Now, this is, uh, I'm not sure why this is happening. You can see here it's saying your motherboard BIOS drivers and utilities are the latest version. So you can see the BIOS that's in there is H.B0, H and this will be this one. So you can see there's two more new BIOSes here which were being displayed on their website but not coming up on this live update and I'm not sure why that is. Um, but basically if you was having an issue you can see some of the issues that it fixes. Uh, improved Broadwell-E CPU uh, compatibility 
also the fixed overclock genie uh, cannot work properly so it does fix a lot of uh, issues improve Intel's SSD 750 S S3 issue improved memory compatibility improved NVMe compatibility so you can see these updates are crucial if you're having an issue now to do this all you need to do here is I'll quickly show you so you see up the top here we have driver so we look at drivers and the same thing this was the BIOS area here so we was looking at the BIOS these are just the BIOSes but if you're looking for drivers you'd have to do the same thing for your operating system uh, we're on sem uh, Windows 7 64 and it will tell you all your drivers which are available to you uh, for that operating system there so for argument's sake let's uh, just take a look here let's uh, system chipset drivers We'll do this one here. So you hit the download. We're going to open this up. And we can now click on this and click run. Now you can drag the folder out if you wish. But sometimes it lets you run them from inside these zips. So we're just going to try this. And there we go. Let's start to run accept install and say yes to the UAC and then let that install itself on the system now you can choose which way that suits you and there we have it that's been successfully installed now if you have trouble installing it this way you can drag them out and put them into that location I showed you so you can put them into here into your MSI area and you can drop them inside here if you wish you can make another folder in here called downloaded uh, MSI drivers and stick them in there manually uh, just like so like so and you can put put them inside this area if you wanted to and then download the actual driver let's just say for instance uh, we did this one and then you can let that download okay that's now downloaded we're going to open this and I'm going to quickly snap this to the to the left here and also I've got an area here which I've got the downloaded area and you can snap that to the right and then you can just drag that file into there into the download area and then run it from there if you wish to do that and save these uh, files if the if that's the way you want to do it depending on which way you want to go about it but they're the options for you and all I need to do now is restart my system uh, but that's basically how you can keep your motherboard drivers up to date now in the next video I'll probably show you how to update your BIOS and uh, you can do it uh, like this using the live update and I'll probably show you how to do that anyway thanks again for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did then hit the like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and be notified when I upload new videos also, if you've got any problems with your computers, you can head over to the forums and post on there or any video requests. That's the place to put them on there. And also, if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page, then give us a little like up over there. Anyway, thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your continued support. Bye for now.